OK, so in this example, this one seems a little bit uh, more straightforward. First thing we do, step one, replace the y. right? Then step two, swap. Good. There's really no mathematical thinking going on. I'm just replacing f of x with y, and then I'm swapping the variables. Now, the last step, which is the dit, which was really difficult in the last one, or at least had a lot of steps, this one now we need to solve for y. Well, you can see y is being cubed by a number, being subtracted by 1, and then it's under a square root. right? So we have to undo the operations using the inverse order of operations. So the first thing we need to undo is this square root. So how do you undo the square root? You square it. You square, yeah, OK. Good. So you square. Whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other side, though. Don't forget that. So now you have x squared equals y cubed minus 1. Now we undo addition and subtraction. So I add 1, add 1. So I have x squared plus 1 equals y cubed. Now, to undo cubing, I have to take the cube root. Cube root. So therefore, I have the cube root of x squared plus 1 equals y. Then I just do my last step, and I just replace y with f inverse of x. That's it. Done. Fine. Now, your homework does say, what is the domain? 